Hey, what's up everyone? It's Carlos with Toy Hunting. Let me show you what I've been up to this morning. So I've been uh, cleaning up and sanding um, this piece. And this piece will, um, will be where the soldier sits down in the back of the his tank where the cannons are. So let me show you an example of what we're going to do. So that's going to be what the soldier is going to look like inside. And then this is going to close like this. And that is where our soldier will stand. I use some styrene in this area. And I use some of this flat styrene. I don't even know if that's styrene or not. But I used it right here. To give it like some detail and this is a 65d 65d resin that I used to make the base I'm gonna go spray paint it and then um, I'll show you what it looks like because I'm I'm almost done with the his tanks see I got the red one I got this one and then I have this one for the future so, <clears throat> let me just show you where it goes, just in case. Let me show you this one. It's going to go in the back like so. Okay, so this is where that piece is, is going to go, the back of the his tank. So then we're going to put this piece over here and when I cast it when I mold and cast it I'm gonna glue it on and then we'll have a, a cannon that rotates and there you go once again so easy easy to do just had to think of something this is gonna get glued together and then I'll be able to spin around and then you, you'll be able to take it out and be able to put in different things if we want to things like that lots of fun lots of uh possibilities for the his tank i might add this uh this little stand which is the perfect uh diameter just to make it uh nice and clean in there just like that there that would look good so I'm going to paint it up, but I wanted to show you guys what I did to make this. And this was part of a vacuum cleaner tube that I cut and I just made it to fit the his tank. I had to do some measuring, but you know, it worked out pretty well. I really like this area. It reminds, it reminds me of like Star Wars and stuff. Alright, so off to paint. paint brings it all together and there you have it there it is so without this piece this uh, project can't go on so really important and um, I'm gonna be casting it like um, I'm gonna try to do it today or actually molding it and then casting it sorry so I'm going to try my best to, uh, to start doing that process. That's going to take a couple days. Okay, so there it is. Just a little update. So close, but uh, still need a little bit more work. I wish I had more time to dedicate to Toy Gigante, but for now, this is all I can do. But, um, I do work on it every day. Alright, everyone, thank you for watching. Talk to you soon. And we'll have
have uh, I'll have more uh, updates very soon. All right. Thank you for watching.